Welcome to my video on how to host your site with Azure Storage. This is going to be using the Azure Storage account as opposed to um, using GitHub. We'll make another video for the GitHub version. Um, so please go ahead and you can look at the um, URL that is here. Follow through with that while you're watching the video and hopefully this helps. So you're going to be posting your portfolio for the midterm and then we'll be adding JavaScript for the final. Um, there is no right way to host your website. I'm going to give you two suggestions on how to do this. You are welcome to alter any of these. There is no right way, wrong way to handle this as long as you can get your site up into the internet and able to send me a link that will allow me to access your site. So I'm first going to start with the deploy static website um, with Visual Studio Code. Just to give you um, a hint at that, I have up. Um, so I'm going to walk through this tutorial. There is a complete walkthrough for the, the tutorial. This link is in Teams, so you can get to it from there and you can walk through. The important thing with this one is you really just need a Azure subscription, um, Visual Studio Code, and then adding the Azure Storage extension. You are not going to use the package manner because you're not going to use a stamp sample package. You're going to be creating your own. Um, so I'm going to walk through this one first. And as um, after I finish that, I will do another video for the one using GitHub. First things first, you need to set up an Azure account. If you do not already have one, go to um, azure.com or azure.microsoft.com and set up your account. You need to have an account, um, obviously. So you can choose to use your school account as I have done here. Once you have your account set up, um, I'm already logged in, you can click on the portal and that will show you all of your sites on Azure. At this point, all you need is the account and the ability to get logged in. Um, once we've done that, you can start working on your team side or your code side to be able to set it up. You will be creating a static web app um, as opposed to an app service for the purposes of this assignment, um, assignment, this project. The other thing you need is your Azure storage extension. So this little picture here on Teams or on code, excuse me, um, is called extensions. This is where all of your installed extensions are. And you are going to be getting the Azure storage extension. You may also need the Azure accounts um, extension. So what you can do is you can come up here and you can type in Azure storage. Um, it'll run through and it'll probably be the top one. It's about 280,000 downloads at this point. Um, the Azure account is right below it. I use them both frequently, so I have them both installed. So you want to make sure that you install it. You can usually just click it and click install, click this one, click install, and it'll allow you to connect your Azure account to your storage. At this point, they may request for you to log into your Azure account, so make sure you have the ability to do that. Once you do, this little icon will come down here. This is your Azure icon. For the purposes of this one, you don't have to worry about the top one here, the static web apps. We're going to do that one on the other one. We're going to just do the storage here and it should have your subscription once you've signed in. Remember, Azure is free and um, you can sign up for a subscription and it's um, really useful for this class. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to sign into Azure. If you have not already done so, go ahead and click the sign into Azure button. It will go ahead and um, set up your subscription. It'll look like this. In their case, they have primary. In mine, I have Azure subscription one, which is fine. That means that you're signed into Azure. If there's a problem with you signing into Azure, um, you need to make sure that you can get to the portal over here. Okay, so now that we're signed in, I'm gonna assume that you're signed in. If you get a cannot find a subscription with the name subscription ID or something like this, you might have some errors. Um, you might not have signed in correctly. At this point, I'm going to click the I installed the prerequisites and move on to the next one. So now we're going to build the app. In this case, we are not doing the CLI, Angular, React, Vue, or Svelte because we're going to be creating our own app. So at this point, I would highly recommend you come over to um, 
your regular editor, your folder, and go ahead and find the folder where you want to go and store your data. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select um, the folder that I've selected here, the My Portfolio Azure Storage, um, which is going to, I just have a couple of, um, that's where I'm going to be putting my files. I've actually, um, there's nothing in there right now. So that's where I'm going to put it in. I'm going to go ahead and um, add a new file, and I'm going to add an index.html at this point. Now you should be able to do this. So we have our doc type. Um, sorry. Come on, catch up. At this point, it should be caught up. There it goes. Doc type. Um, our HTML, our header, our title. I mean, this is this is all stuff we've been working on, right? Um, Cheryl's portfolio. L Foley. Oh, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to add in a body. And I'm just going to say in H1, hello world, because that's all I care about right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. So in this case, step two was to create the app. Do not create the Angular app. But you have created an app hanging out over here, and that's what you're going to be deploying. Now we have to create our storage account. So in this case, we're going to come over to our Azure button here. It should know about this here. And under Azure subscription, there should be no storage accounts. So we're going to click the little plus button, create storage account, and we're going to give it a name. This is a global name, so you can't just write like hello or portfolio. Um, I'm going to say Great Falls College MSU, um, Cheryl Simpson, and we'll go ahead and try that. Um, this is the name of your storage account. So sometimes you like to use the word storage in there or something so that you know that's your storage account that you're going to be setting up. Down here at the bottom, it'll say creating storage account in the location, which is fine. That's It'll take it a few seconds to get through that. It defaults to the West US. Um, if you were over in Azure, you could manually change that um, to a different location. But for right now, it's fine. Um, I don't care about all of the things here. So when this finishes here, creating my storage account, it'll pop up and say, you're good. Your storage account is all set up. In that case, there it goes. It's been enabled. So I can now hit um, refresh and it'll take it a little bit of time to pop it up over here, but it'll come here eventually. Now that we have our storage account, We've entered our name, it came down here, it says it's been enabled for static website hosting, index document is index.html, and it should be lovely. Um, we created our storage container. So we're gonna go to the next site. Now, in Visual Studio Code, go to the Azure Storage, expand your subscription, expand the node, and you'll see, if we open this, we open our blob container, and inside of our blob container is an item called web. This is where we want to be, okay? So from here, I am going to right click and I'm going to deploy to static website. What it's going to do is take that code that I had written up on the top part and deploy it. It's going to ask me where do I want to, or what folder do I want to deploy? And that's the folder I've selected, my portfolio Azure storage, the one that I have over here. And I want to deploy that. So I'm going to click that. It's going to run and it's going to say it's complete. At this point, it's going to give me my Great Falls College MSU Cheryl Simpson. It's going to be a Z Z22 Web Core Windows Net. More importantly, I can click Browse. It'll come up here and there's my Hello World, my Cheryl's portfolio. And here is my URL. I can now copy and paste this URL to my D2L or anywhere else, to, anybody can click this and go ahead and get to my portfolio. Now, back over on my website here, I've got my index.html. Just for kicks and grins, let's go ahead and add my stylesheet.css. I'm going to go ahead and do my at rule um, for my char set, utf8, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my body so I'm just setting a quick body tag here just to show you that I can do it. Um, I'm going to set my background. Um, 
let's make it, I don't know, teal. And let's make my color um, white. So it'll be white text on a teal background for my body. Come back over to my index, into my header, and I'm going to go ahead and link. My href is gonna be my style sheet, and my relation is going to be style sheet, and we'll slash it. Okay, if I select here and I say open in default browser, it should pop up over here and see it's teal and it's lovely. But you can see from the URL, see work, school, this is where it's located. That's not what I want. I want it published. So now that I've done that, I'm going to come back over to my Azure and come back over, whoops, come back over to my web. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say deploy static website. It's going to say what folder do you want? And I'm going to say this one because that's the one I keep using. And it's going to say, are you sure? It contains a file. You're going to delete the previous files if you do this. And you're going to say yes, because I want to delete the previous file. I want to deploy the new files. So I'm going to say delete and deploy. It's going to say, cool. Go ahead and browse to your website. And now we, you can see we are at our HTTPS with a teal background with my white. So now I have post hosted my site using a static website through Azure. It's up there. I can get to it. I can send this as a file, as a URL to me, my instructor, and show me that I have my, my site up. That's how easy it is. It really isn't as hard as you think it is. Um, there's a couple of other things that we'll go over, like source control using get here, um, being able to keep track of your source control. The important thing here is remembering that you have your blob container, that you added the storage to create a storage account. Um, that way you have this, this dollar sign web that lets it know it's a website. Then you can just right click the web and be able to say, deploy it as a static website. And it will allow you to do that, okay? So that's your first little view on how to set up your own website. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the second version using GitHub. Before I go onto the GitHub, I do want to show you in the storage accounts on Azure, when you have your storage account set up, you can hit refresh and your storage account will show up here. I can click this. It'll show me my storage account and the containers that are in it. So in this case, the blob is a container. We're going to click that and you'll see that I have logs and I have web. If I click web, those two files that I just pushed, this is where they are. You can upload files directly to this location and it'll work. You can go ahead and upload a new index file or another file and include that in there as well. So this gives you some option of viewing what's inside that container for the purposes of your website.